So we just received some samples here in Chesterfield of um, tar spot, or at least what we think is tar spot. So we're gonna have to go check under the microscope. But I just took out the leaves and it looks like we have a lot of lesions here um, that appear on first glance to be tar spot. So now I'm going to cut out some smaller pieces and take a look under the dissecting microscope. So now we'll take a look on the dissecting microscope um, at the overview of the sample. And this is what Greg will have up on the screen over there. Is these lesions. Well, well <laughs> but so what we're looking at here is is a lesion, a black lesion, it's a stroma, and it's within that stroma um, that this fungus will make its reproductive cells. And that'll come out, it'll start to ooze out as a, a gel of ascospores and conidia, and that's what causes the secondary infection. Um, and you can, if you look at that closely in a field, you can actually see the ooze so on a leaf like this, you can see the orange ooze right here. There, see that? Those are actually the spores and we'll look under the other microscope here and we'll show you what those look like. This orange, the brighter orange color contain conidia and then you'll see a, uh, almost a cloudy yellow. The, this ooze has the ascospores. So the ascospores are the sexual reproductive spores and the conidia are the asexual reproductive spores. So when we're not quite sure if it is tar spots, the only way to kind of have a definitive check is to look inside. So what I'll do is I'm gonna cut up one of these um, samples here and I'm basically just trying to get um, a single lesion on this microscope slide. So I'll add a little water on top of this lesion here. And then essentially what I'm gonna do is crush it to kind of pop open that um, lesion. So that little brown kind of shell of the stroma is what we call it. Um, and then we'll see what kind of spores are inside. And if they look like tar spot spores, um, then we'll go ahead and call this tar spot. If they look like a different spore, then we'll have a different diagnosis. All right, so what we see here are the assi, and inside each assi are eight ascospores, which are the sexual spores for reproduction. These little thin guys are the conidia that are behind here. You can also see some of the stroma left over. When we crushed it, it burst open and it released those. And these are very easy to identify as tar spot. Those assi, they kind of give it away. It's a pretty easy diagnosis all around.